Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be uh, continuing the uh, GTA 5 series. So um, I thought that I'll be making part two if I get 15 likes, but I got 102. That's really impressive. And um, so if I get 20 likes uh, for this uh, episode, then I'll do episode three. But uh, it took a while for me to uh, start recording episode two. I'm really sorry because I've been uh really busy with studies and stuff like that but now that i'm uh finished with those i can uh yeah I'll continue this series so yeah let's let's see where we left off and um then yeah let's continue from there so i think we just left off the camera thing i think we just uh, made the camera system that's pretty much it that's not impressive um because that's really basic so i thought we need to get a lot of work done in today's episode so um i might edit some parts off to uh stop uh, wasting your time um but yeah let's uh give this game a little more gta5 wide right i don't think this still looks like a gta5 game so yeah that, let's do that and then uh let's head on to the next stuff so maybe if i with head rotation why is it disabled okay so there's some problems with the head rotation which this the head rotation uh script I don't know if I uh, did that in uh, my part one because I really didn't watch it. I just um, I forgot what I even did in that. So let me just go and check what I did. Okay, I have done the head rotation, I think. Yes, uh, this is the rotation. So, that's what's wrong. So, line 40. The neck uh, is not a valid, mem valid member of mesh part. Um, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, what we're going to do here is... Uh, okay, I get what's happening here. So our character has something else called neck in uh, our head. So it's a mesh part. So let me just go check if that's the problem. So there's a neck here. There's something called new neck. What's that? Is that something from Roblox? Or is that... Oh, okay, okay. Um, I just noticed that I have uh, removed the custom character I had in part one. So let's put that back in. So I'm going to build a rig, block rig. Uh, what's this R6 or R15 game? I'm really... Yeah, it's an R15 game. So yeah, let's go with R15. I might change it later on to my own characters but uh yeah for now let's just do this and the humanoid root part should uh be anchored why is he anchored bro uh, what okay um now it should work well since um it's not my own no What's wrong here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have got the head here, but I haven't got the uh, neck, which I should say neck. Yeah, maybe that's the problem, which... 
Oh, I should fix it. Yes, it does. Now the neck works. Um, but there's one more thing I should do there, which is copy this and put it here. Okay. Okay. Now since that's done, um, I actually thought, uh, maybe I should play some GTA Five again and, um. Uh, find some features of it that it makes the game look like GTA 5 but I actually used to play it a lot so I kind of have uh, knowledge on how the game is so it, this works okay now one more thing which we should put is walking and sprinting so what I'm gonna do is do a sprint script so uh, let's put a local script here moment uh, move meta handler let's call it that uh, so let's uh, get the character so yeah and um, let's get the humanoid um so I'm gonna go to replicate storage. I'll make a folder. Actually, make two. One we're gonna call it modules, and the other one I'm gonna be calling it event. And inside modules, we're gonna put a module script, naming it player. And um, here we can say walk speed of five. Sprinting speed sixteen. Oh, that's too high. Ten. Okay, and now we can uh, do that, which is uh, get replicated storage, and we're gonna get modules, which is under replicated storage, and then we're gonna get the player module, which is. Uh, require modules wait for child play okay and uh, there's another service we need which is our uh, user input service user input service and um, and we are going to be creating a variable called sprinting which is going to be false for now yeah that's actually we are gonna kind of start a character scripts and uh, make a pool value called uh, sprinting so that um, it's better because uh, then we can implement it to the other scripts without uh, having the hassle of trying to detect if the play is sprinting so uh, we need to now say so use input key binds. Okay, let's go back to uh, modules and duplicate. Go to the key binds module which I just made, and um, we're gonna make the key binds. Uh, so for sprinting, maybe um, shift. It's always shift. My bad. Uh, so it's left shift right um actually let's do anim dot keiko dot left shift so we can uh, we can get that module here too so keybinds module and uh keybinds again okay. So you said put service, we're gonna now call it event, call it put began. We're gonna call the function uh, is typing, if not is typing and input dot key code equals to um uh play no keybinds module dot sprinting then uh, sprinting equals to true um input service input ended uh it's too false okay just just 
remove that only that part and um, and and the next thing we should do is uh, what is this printing oh no this should be a relief my bad it's sentence relief um I'm sprinting. Actually, we should actually change this through the server because um, then that's the only way the server can see if the play is sprinting. But when we want to change it, we'll come back here. But for now, we don't have to do it. So, sprinting, get property change signal, value. I'm going to connect it to function. And um, uh, if sprinting dot value is true, then else if it's true then humanoid walk speed equals to uh, player module dot uh, sprinting speed humanoid walk speed is to player module dot walk speed that's uh, pretty much it um it should work if it does not then uh, we'll see why Yes, it does work, but the play is too slow. So let's go to the player here, put to 16. And one more thing I forgot is uh, go to the static character, go to humanoid, and the walk speed uh, should be the walk speed, which is 5. Well, actually, we can even set it here so it will be. Better so I just play module dot walk speed. Perfect. As you can see, now we are walking. Oh, that's perfect. Um, yeah, that's perfect. What else do we have to do here? I just thought of something and forgot. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Instead of um, actually sprinting like this, what we're gonna do is say humanoid dot walk speed uh, plus humanoid. A play module that's pretty speed and um, minus uh, play module dot uh, walk speed. No, I mean uh, sprinting speed. Okay, the reason we did this is because, um, uh, because some in GTA 5, if you're carrying a big gun. Then I think we walk slow, I'm not pretty sure, but I think we can't run really fast. I don't know, y'all can leave the thing in the command if I'm wrong, but um, I think that's the problem. So this way we can uh, give the weapon away too, so the player will walk slower if the weapon is heavy. That's the reason I did that. So now if we go to Humanoid. Uh, walk speed is 5, 21, 21, 5, 21, okay, perfect, um, that's what, that's what we have done now, now what i have got to do is make a gun, I think we should begin making guns, guns are the Guns and cars and NPCs are the main part of the game. NPCs are going to be coming later, but for now, let's work on the guns, right? Uh, the, uh, there are other stuff like uh, the map and health and stuff like that, but I don't think we need that right now. So let's, uh, even the mobile, we should even make uh, the smartphone. Uh, we'll, we'll be making everything, so just subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell so you can you will not miss any video. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, let's start, um, 
did the gun part. So I'm not going to be making tools. I'm going to be making a framework for guns. Since um, tools are just, I don't, I don't think tools would be the perfect way to do this. So if we're going to make a framework for the player and that will handle everything. So uh, for that first we need the uh, UI. So uh, of course um, this is not like Fortnite or any other game where the UI is displayed down. So we have to um, make our own uh, backpack system. So um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to subscript service, play manage, and come here and create something called inventory, which is going to be a folder. Right, and the inventory name is going to be uh, inventory. Um, and this is going to be containing the various types of guns we're going to have in the game. For now, I'm going to be making a quick, simple, ugly pistol. Really ugly one. So, there's, there's certain stuff we should do before making the uh, pistol. So, first I'm going to put a decal to find the front surface, which is this side. Right? The surface is front. And, um... So the front surface should be facing. That's going to be where the bullet is going to be coming from. So yeah, just do that. And um, the handle is this, right? That's the handle. Again. Um, and there's going to be a hole, which is going to be here. So let's call this the hole um, and handle and um, let's call this the barrel and this even gonna be a root part which is gonna be gonna here. Now actually yeah here that's where the place is gonna touch so that's where it's gonna be construction for this construction so yeah just ignore that but um that's oh, annoying shit anyways we're gonna put hemna root part that's gonna be the hemna root part and then we are gonna be uh, grouping it and um let's uh make it black it's so ugly but that's what we have for now all right um and one more thing i need to Compare this with the block rig, the size. Yeah, that's way too big, so we'll just reduce it. Okay, that uh, that size looks perfect. Okay, let's just keep uh, the dummy there. And um, let's focus on our pistol here. So I'm going to put pistol. Right, so there was certain stuff we should do for this. Uh, for example, um, Okay, so, uh, we're gonna put a humanoid inside of this, right? And, um, the primary part is gonna be set humanoid root part. And, uh, go to plugins, edit rig, and, uh, from the humanoid root part, we're gonna put to the hole, to the handle, and to the barrel. Right, that's pretty much there. Unless we want to animate this gun, we don't have to set the uh, notes, we can skip that. We're not going to be animating it just yet, and I don't think a piston needs animation, because it looks so bad. But yeah, later we would animate, who knows. But right now, after that's done, um, what we got to do is... Um, yeah, we need to uh, put this... Uh, and replicate storage in a folder called uh, weapons, I guess. Yeah, weapons. That sounds about right. And uh, weapon manager. For now, I'm going to be making some bigger pistol. Actually, let's go to default weapon. And um, instant start new. Um, bull value. Okay, let's go with bull value. Because we can then um, save the amount of ammo the player has too. So. 
it would make it easier. So default name equals to pistol. Uh, default weapon dot value is going to be the amount of bullets it has. Total bullets. So let's just put thousand. I'm gonna do this. So we no can um. Okay, now since that's done, what you gotta do is uh, come back to uh, start a character scripts, put a local script, and this is gonna be inventory manager. Okay, this is where we're gonna do uh, the equipping stuff. So uh, let's do that, right? So, oh, I don't wanna type. All the stuff again. So what I'm gonna do here is copy all of this and paste it here, since they're pretty much the same. Ah, uh, the inventory is gonna be a little more advanced and confusing. Actually, even I'm confused in uh, the method I'm gonna be using. But um, yeah, let's use use the method I'm thinking of. So I'm gonna make something like this. So there's gonna be Wait, how much? Okay, so uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Nil, nil, nil. Oops, and bam. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now that we got an inventory here, we're going to be assigning each uh, weapon to each number. So to do that, um, what we got to do is uh, pretty easy actually. Uh, we need to loop. We need to okay. Let's call this setting up inventory. Let's wait a bit. So we loop, uh, we pass, and we um, loop through each. So the first one is of course gonna be hands. So we're gonna just put hands in the second. Uh, so we're gonna be going through inventory. Uh, to so, uh, once we do that, um, what we gotta do is, uh, now we look through, so we got one, it's gonna be hands, right, so, if I, is, if I goes to nil, then, right, we're gonna be assigning, uh, yeah, we're gonna be assigning uh, the uh, if we because now okay, we're gonna be assigning um uh, the pistol. So mm. okay, this is what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna come back up here and get the player right. So game double players to local player. Uh, local inventory of a child inventory right and then um over here we are gonna be getting in when inventory items in items okay <laughs> uh, inventory get children uh and we're gonna begin account right which is gonna be one and um uh, we are going to be setting I to um, um, to okay I to uh, oh god okay um, in items and uh, count yep yeah, and then count plus one okay equals to plus one. And um, it'll keep on going, and we won't have uh, 
the stuff here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say over here if if not then break return. Okay, I don't think we should put return. Yeah, just break. Else it'll keep a coin. And um, then we are going to be printing a table dot unpack. Unpack and uh, inventory. Oh no. Okay, let's call this the inventory array. Okay. Let's see how it plays out. Okay. So, so it unpacked and... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This should be we. Oh, my bad. Uh, I don't know if this will work too. Oh, it did not work. I just uh, found out the reason. So, instead of nil, I put zero. Because when it's nil, the, uh, uh, the Roblox API doesn't uh, loop through to that. They just totally skip it. So, um, I put zero instead of nil. So, now that uh, we'll check if uh, it's zero, then we'll fill it up with whatever tool we have with the recount. And now it works well. Now we can uh, see that... Um, uh, if I open up output, the uh, first slot is hands, second is pistol, and then breaks because there's no more. But to test, I'm going to be uh, duplicating this and um, let that be the same. Then we should have two pistols. If not, then it's wrong. Okay, as you can see, the third one is also pistol. So now it works fine. I'm going to delete this back and. Uh, uh, go here and let's even now uh, do the print statements because it's gonna be a nine. Anyways, um, now that we set up the inventory, we can actually do the equipping stuff, which I am gonna be using modules to do. But um, that module is gonna be inside of this uh, weapon module, I guess. Um, yeah, weapon module. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, before that, I'm going to go to inventory. Input service, but began, connect to function. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to say input is typing. And, um, uh, yeah, it's typing, so if not, it's typing, and uh, input the key code, to, uh, key card dot, so, no, input dot key code equals to n, the key code dot one, then, of course, it's going to be one, so, we're going to make a new function called equip, uh, we're going to pass this lot, and we're gonna call equip here and oops equip and we're gonna pass the slot which is one right so it's gonna be one and um, um we're actually we're actually gonna do it this part and uh, we're gonna come back here and so if then okay and uh, in equip we're gonna do the equipping stuff for the gun so uh, let's come back here as a folder we'll, we'll be getting um, uh, we'll be getting uh, the weapons folder which is under replicate storage and um, okay, so under replicate storage, how long? 
have been recording. 45 minutes, okay, that's a lot, okay, um, before one hour I should finish this episode, so, uh, yeah, uh, once we do that, um, equip, uh, we'll be, um, uh, doing the equip stuff, so, uh, we're gonna first find what, which is weapons, find first child, right, and, uh, the slot is gonna be the number, so, um, imagine it's two, so, we're gonna say, uh, inventory, slot, if find module, module then, print find model dot name, equipped, again, this is the basic way to do it, so, let's see if it works. As of now, it doesn't work, and uh, let's see why. Inventory was. This is how we fixed it. We uh, put. We changed the inventory like this, because apparently we cannot change it like this. I don't know why. Roblox just fixes shit. But yeah, now that um, we got that done, it should work pretty fine. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm going to stop printing this, this stuff, right, okay, let's stop printing this, equipping slot, um, and, uh, I should say this is green. Okay. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Pistol equipped. Perfect. Hands, of course, can be equipped because uh, hands is um, a thing which we can equip. So, what we're going to do is just put models because it's still going to contain scripts, right? So, hands and uh, put the button module inside that. And uh, that's done. Now, um, okay, now if you press 1, hands equipped, if you press 2, pistol, then we should do the rest, which is, uh, gonna be the rest, so, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this is a long process, but I don't know if there's a better way, but if you know a better way to do this, please let me know and I'll fix it. Right, um, so seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect. Um, else. Slot empty. Yeah, now we okay. How much minutes do we have? We have three minutes again. Uh, after cutting this video, maybe we have a few more minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be um uh doing one more thing, which is uh, uh actually giving the weapon to the place hand. We won't have much time, but uh, I'm actually gonna try to complete that part too so let's do that part which is here so uh yeah so we need to clone and uh so we're gonna come here module dot uh, equip it's gonna be called Function module that equip uh, character. All right, so um, we're gonna be getting the weapon, which is script dot parent a humanoid or a root part two humanoid root part weapon dot humanoid uh, 
weapon dot primary part. Right. Um. Let's just copy this. But this and uh, set the primary part to Himalayan root part. Oh God, Himalayan root part. And um, in here we're gonna just this is really simple, guys. So um, we're gonna make another function called module dot unequip. Alright, so the next episode I'm gonna be making the gun work and stuff like that. But right now we're gonna go to the basic basic stuff. So um do this and uh, the character. Uh we're gonna be finding the right hand, which is the character find find first child. Right hand, right. Um so uh weapon clone. We're gonna be cloning the weapon and oh god. Okay, weapon clone. And weapon clone dot parent is gonna be workspace. Weapon okay, and we're gonna be creating weld instance dot new. Uh of course it's gonna be called weld. It's gonna be weld constraint actually weld constraint and then it's gonna be in the right hand and weld dot part zero is gonna be right hand weld dot part one is gonna be a weapon clone dot primary part and weapon clone this workspace is gonna be character right and then Once this is done, we're gonna go back here. Uh, find uh, find module, uh, which is gonna be find model, find first child, find module, right? And uh, if find module, find module, then uh, find module module uh, dot equip. Oh yeah, I'm done. Require. That's I think that's when. Uh, yeah, we put equip and pass the character who is equipping it, and um, that should pretty much uh, do that. Do the things which we wanted to do. Okay. This okay, I have to call the new one. Mm -hmm. Just do this. I'm actually really confused on how we call a function in modules. No, no, I shouldn't be confused though, because uh. I'm correct. The way I did it was correct. So I don't know why it's Neil. What's Neil? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I've been wasting freaking time. And I just noticed, um, I have been doing this in hands. In the hands module. When I should be doing it here. Because. Oh, I wasted so much time, man. Again, this um, this exactly why I should go find a better thing to do. Cause I just wasted so much time with this. Um, literally so much time. Okay, um, let's put that here. I swear to God, if it doesn't work now, then I would just be mad. I hope it's not the same error, at least. I can't work the side work. I can't we, we have so much pistols, but... Where are they? Okay, okay, it works, but... The pistols are bugged, and let me... 
me see why. They're not anchored. To be weld. One point zero point one two. Okay, it works. Ah, uh, but it can collide and that's glitching the thing, so let's turn on collision again. Okay guys, so finally, finally, we got this working. So if I press one, we got a gun. Although it's messing my shit up, which I should check what's wrong. Um and collide. Oh, okay. Probably because it's a way out. Let's make it work constrained. And, um, yeah. No, no, it's. It, it should be a way out, okay. So, yeah, we'll be checking what's wrong with this. Actually, um, I'm gonna be doing one last test without the human art, okay? Maybe the human art is the problem. Because the human art clearly makes everything. Yes. Okay, okay. The human art was the problem. Maybe because when we put the human art, it uh, starts colliding with the player, that's why, okay? So yeah, we don't keep human arts in it. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, okay, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, I have a method to uh, animate the gun without a human art in it. It's by connecting uh, the human art, the character's uh, skeletons to the gun. So, yeah, that's what we do. But, yeah. Um, now we're holding the gun on equip. Yeah. Let's finish that off quickly, right? Before going to anything else, right? So, um, to do that in character, I'm going to. But an object value of card uh, currently current current weapon and um and when we are not quick we are gonna be um so we are gonna come back here before we equip we're gonna be checking as so I'm gonna go back up here and uh um Come to somewhere here and uh, type current weapon weapon equals to character with a child current weapon and uh, the current weapon is gonna be um so um if current weapon the value is not nil then um, we are gonna be nilling it but just unequipping. Unequipping, so actually, I'm just gonna say character from this chart, right hand. No, 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 no. Just a card weapon, value. Um, destroy. That's uh, uh, pretty much it, right? Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. So now, and of course, uh, current weapon to add value because to nail. We should start to do all that in the server side since some um, people will start to exploit. But uh, I did just not destroy. Oh yeah, of course. Um, because we didn't set the current weapon. So let's do that too. So. Character from first shard, current weapon, weapon dot value to um, uh, the weapon clone. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Again, done. So when I press a pistol, it will keep re equipping it. When I get hands, it goes back to hands. So. Yeah, we did that. Uh, now I'm going to be ending this episode. Uh, there's so much editing to do. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, see you in the next one.